I want to give a uh, a best wishes to Sharif O'Neal. Um, I heard about this a couple of days ago. Just sometimes, you know, you just get a little distracted or sidetracked, and you know, you know, forget to do a video. But uh, as uh, I think all of you know, back in September, Sharif O'Neal, who's the son of NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal and a freshman at UCLA. Um, said that doctors discovered a congenital heart abnormality that would be corrected by surgery. And that surgery was performed uh, a couple of days ago, and it was successful. And um, Sharif is doing well by all accounts, and uh, I'm glad that this was caught because too often throughout history, we've had NBA players who have unfortunately passed away due to congenital heart conditions that were never previously discovered. The first name that comes to mind is Reggie Lewis. Now, there were rumors that Reggie Lewis uh, did cocaine. I don't know about that. Um, but it was discovered that Reggie Lewis had some heart abnormalities. And uh, if this was 25 years, well, if 1993 was 2018, perhaps Reggie Lewis wouldn't have uh, collapsed and died uh, as he did uh, during that. It was a shooting shoot around where he uh, collapsed and died. And we all remember, I think it was a playoff game, was either a playoff game or late regular season game where he collapsed for the first time during the 1993 season. Of course, Pete Maravich, who miraculously was able to play his entire collegiate career and his entire NBA career, which was 10 years. He was able to play with, I believe, only, what was it? One coronary artery or two, I can't remember. But I know that uh, many uh, cardiologists were absolutely baffled by how he was able to live as long as he did to age 40 with that condition, especially playing at the high level uh, that he was able to play with that uh, heart abnormality. And then there have been various... Uh, players throughout the years who have died of congenital heart conditions are oftentimes collapsing while on the court. Um, recently, I can uh, remember uh, Fab Mello, who uh, died in his sleep, probably of a heart attack. Robert tracked the tra uh, trailer. Now, yes, he was a bigger guy, but to die at age 34 of a heart attack is rather unusual. Okay. Uh, especially considering the guy was an athlete. So I just, you know, wanted to give it out there, man. Um, and not just basketball players, even uh, wrestlers. The late flying Brian Pillman, right, who died at the age of 34 due, a, due to a congenital heart condition. And um, I just, I'm just glad that this was caught in time and that uh, – another tragedy uh, would not occur, uh, especially to a good kid like him, okay? By all accounts, he's a great kid. He's very intelligent. And uh, I think uh, in the NBA, which I believe, you know, he'll be a – I think he'll be – I don't know whether he'll be up to the standards. Of, I don't know if he'll be as good as his father, but I think that he will be a solid NBA player, all right? Um, so – that's all I got to say about that.